It's your boy Fly Boy Tony J. Uh, you are watching the Jones Street Show and uh, uh, a special edition of the Jones Street Show because we're not in the same location that we is. Normally, we gotta watch this. We on this long ass hall. You see how long this hall is? This is a long hall. So we're gonna speed this bitch up for you. <laughs> not. Um, today's topic is something br is brought to you by. Twitter ain't gonna be in the bottom. It's gonna be right there. So um, yeah, we ain't got much battery on this dang thing. So um, uh yeah, we're gonna make it short and sweet. So uh, this topic gonna be basically about what guys look for in a good girl. So Chuck Diesel, what you think? What's your what you look for in a girl? You gotta trust her. Trust her. You know, it's some someone you can trust. Someone who loves you for who you is. Yup. Respectful, loves family. Uh, what else? Honesty. Honesty. And uh, she. I mean, what else do I look for? You know, she gotta be smart, ambitious, know what she want in life, have goals, morals. Uh, and the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Just, it's all around shit. Yeah, my thing is probably same, just about the same. But my thing is like outgoing. Outgoing. What's outgoing? Shit. Outgoing is like a girl uh, for me. A girl up for anything, no matter what, no matter how crazy it may sound. But she said, "Okay, it's cool. Let's try." Like, I mean, like. Like what? If I want to go to, I, if I want to go to the Wop House at three o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning, uh -huh. she wants to go to the Wop House. She don't. She's like, "Okay, let's go." Like I always tell people, have you ever had waffles at three o'clock in the morning? Them mugs taste delicious, so try that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's delicious. I mean, I, I can't wait till they start serving chicken and waffles at the Waffle House. It's gonna be the shit. Like, like trust. Uh, what else? Loyalty. Um. Oh yeah. Key word in a relationship is one of my favorite things to tell right. a. My favorite thing is to tell a chicken. And I, I think my man Charles could tell, agree with me as that is I rather a girl break up with me before she cheats on me because I think if, if you cheat get cheated on it's gonna hurt twice as much as me just breaking yeah. up. Yeah, because I think if you break up with somebody like okay, it's so you get a better understanding. She like okay, and that whole it's not you it's me thing is like kind of cliche. Bullshit. That's exactly. <laughs> um, so my thing is just break up with somebody before you cheat on them. Before you cheat on them. I think it's gonna be like it's gonna hurt not as much. No, I think it won't hurt as much. But as if you just say, you know what, it's over. It's like you walking on your girl cheating on you, or you out with something, you out your out your boy, and she tell you she. Ain't feeling too good, but you see her with somebody else. Like, oh shit, damn! You lied and you cheated. So, too baby. so that shit gonna hurt than other, or more to say that you can be like, you know what? I just want to. You can tell her, you know, what? I just want to break up. Which you know, so you can tell. That go for men and women. That go for yeah, men and women. I don't really like cheating. Cheating, cheating is stupid to me. Like, why cheat on somebody? If you don't like them no more, just be like, I don't like you no more. I found somebody else or something like that. Don't just go cheating. I don't see the point. I, well, some people would be like, they'd be like, well, I, I still want this person, but this person fucks me better. So I'm just going to cheat on this person. Yeah, have sex with this person, but I love the other guy that I'm with. That's yeah. bullshit. Just fucking break up with the dude. Damn. And my thing is, it's like, how I'm going to say this, like, where did all the trust go? Then they, no, no, this is what they say. If you get cheated on, like, okay, I still love you, but where was that love when they was cheating on you? Where was all that when they were getting, getting cheated on? It was just a one-time thing. Exactly. I'm a one-time your ass. For real. <laughs> then they want to come back. Then they, all of a sudden they want to come back. But like I say, I don't think there's a such thing as a good... Um, nah. 
No, relationship. Because our relationship, yeah, is get. They all start off. Relationships like a new car. I know you ain't thinking about what I mean by the new car. Our relationship like a new car. You get the you buy a new car, got the new car smell. You get a relationship is that new yeah. relationship smell. Yeah. I then like years pass, months pass, the car, the, 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 the smell starts to well, fade away. You get used to the car. You get to you know the feel of the car. You get to know that car. You get to find see the features in that yeah. mug. But all right, but I. Like, you get to see what all new features the car got, but then that's a relationship. Like you get to know that person, get to see that person, you get to learn that person, get to love and earn. You know, like you gotta before you start dating first, you gotta have a um a bond with them. You gotta know that person. So what you think, man? What you think? You know what? I like everything that you said on that one time about how uh, relationships are like a new car. You know, when you when you when you first start off. It's, it's it's good, you know. When you when you first start off, it's all love you, love you. I love you, I love you too, baby. I love you, I love you. After a while, it gets old. I said after a year or so, that that little love factor starts to fade away. Yep. So it's it, it, it's it's real hard to keep a relationship going after a year after a year or so. You gotta you yep. gotta add more stuff to it. Yeah, you gotta find. You gotta different ways to please that person. Yeah, you gotta you gotta find a way to um keep that spark going, cause. If you can't get the spark going, you start losing interest in that person. You gotta find new shit to like about that person. Yeah, new shit. Cause I mean, I done been with dozens of chicks, and I gotta, I mean, it's hard keeping a relationship going. Then I remember dating this one chick. I ain't gonna say her name. Her Facebook link gonna be at the bottom. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I know that's dirty, ain't it, motherfucker? <laughs> but no, I'm just bullshitting. But um. Uh, I dated one chick and we was good in the beginning. Then all of a sudden, she 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 flipped on me. I'm like, damn! I thought we were just good in it's March, bad. but March, but next month, but then when April hit, we was all fucked up. Really? I, I didn't hear from her the whole month of April. Yeah. I, heard from, I heard from her like every now and again. She told me she was too busy. Like every like she does stuff with her church and stuff. I can't get mad at that good as yeah, in church, but like she said, um, I do so much in all in, um in April I do so much stuff with my church. I'm like, oh that's cool, but then she started fading. I started feeling this stuff. I'm like, if I'm your, I'm like, told her, like, if I'm your boyfriend, you supposed to come to me with your problem. If you got a problem, you know, so I'm supposed to be your backbone. Just like I lean on you if I if I need you. But like, needs to say, relationship didn't work out. But me and her still friends to this day. So hey. What more can I say? Not me and my ex. We ain't friends no more. Cut that <laughs> loose. Tired of the lies. Cheating. A whole bunch of bull crap that that, had, that that went on that I didn't even know about. My family knew about it before I knew about it. They were like, you better not trust her. I was like, mama, she loves me. It was all lies. Man, from the, from the beginning, since from, from the jump, it was a lie. We dated. She uh, she cheated on me. After that, let me see. Who was that? Okay, what? I'm not gonna tell my business. I'm gonna go and just give it to Tony real quick. Tony, you gonna well, talk, bro? Pretty much what my man saying is, she fucked him over. Pretty much, you know. I mean, he told me a little bit to the bit to piece of the story. I don't know. If he told me bit to piece. It was kind of. I told you bit to piece. Yeah, he's kind of fucked up situation. How she did my did. Did play boy, but like you know what I'm saying. But like at the end of the day, trust is a strong factor in any relationship. It's a real factor, and I know I normally don't keep my videos this long. You know what? I like how we changed the freaking topic from uh, what what a guy looks for and a girl to relationships. You know, buddy, it's classic. I like that, buddy. <laughs> keep it pimping. I mean, like I say, trust is a strong factor in a relationship. Trust is a strong factor in a relationship. So you can't, before you, and love is a strong word too. I mean, you just can't throw love out. Love is like a strong word. Once you say you love somebody, and I remember, I'm not going to say, because once, a, I think once a girl says she loves you, yeah, that means more than when a guy says it. Because a girl might think, you know, um, we want something more out of it. But um, 
I'm gonna cut this video short. And yeah, I mean, like, um, I'm about to cut it short. It's getting long. So follow me on Twitter. Twitter link at the bottom. Uh, tell people how they can get in contact with you. Facebook, like I said before, just type in my name, Charles Elder, and I will come up. His link gonna be at the bottom too. So <laughs> his link gonna be at the bottom. All the, uh, All the ladies holla at me. <laughs> my Facebook link, my Twitter link. Um, shouts out to once again, I can't stress enough. Shouts out to Leslie Monique TV, J O V. She is, she's the girl that made the, the intro video to this. So. Shout out to her. Thank you so much. Hold on, let me let me let me go ahead and introduce my voice to y'all real quick. <laughs> uh no. <laughs> I said, tell me what's really going on. Drizzy back up in this thing. I'm ready. What's happening? Gone for surgery, but now.